determining homogeneity of variance. So we're going to use this table. This is table B3 in your textbook, um, or you can just Google Fmax table or Fmax um, statistic. This is going to help us find our F crit. So if you want to write, um, you know, F crit is the critical value of the F um, that that can be ran before an actual um, statistical analysis. So let's start with some of the the letters here. Okay, so K is the number of samples, right? So um, at, at this point in the t-testing, we're just going to be dealing with with two samples. So if you want to, when you print off your your F max table, just kind of circle all of these right here, and then just say, you know, this is for t-tests. This over here, all of this over here. This is a little bit later. This is whenever we start running ANOVA analysis of variance, statistical analysis. Um, so right now, when we're talking about um, just independent T testing, we're just going to use the K equals 2 because we're dealing with, with two samples. Okay. Um, over here, we have our degrees of freedom, right? So um, N minus 1. Um, and just a, a quick overview of the... The F obtained is going to be this formula, right? So let me just kind of write a whole bunch of formulas down first here, right? So you have um, variance for the largest, not the largest group, like the largest variance divided by the variance for the smaller variance, okay? So you're going to have two groups, right? Especially when we're dealing with, with t-testing, we have two groups. And um, each group is going to have its own variance, right? So whatever the, the, the larger variance is, put that on the top, have that be the numerator. And then the bottom is going to be the smaller variance, right? Because you're going to have two groups. As long as your F obtained is less than your F crit, you can proceed. You have met that homogeneity, homogeneity of variance assumption. But if your F obtained is greater than your F crit, you cannot proceed. All right, you have violated that homogeneity of variance assumption. This test has to be met before you can use the data. So if your two groups are so far apart in variance, you cannot run an independent t-test. So a homogeneity of variance test looks at the variance between two groups for independent t-testing or numerous groups for ANOVA, but for right now just two, two groups. And it's going to put the larger variance on top and the smaller variance on bottom, and that's going to give you your F obtained. Okay, You compare that to your F crit as found by your degrees of freedom and number of samples, and you say, okay, as long as my F obtained is smaller than my F crit, I can, I can proceed. I, I did not violate that homogeneity of variance assumption. But if my F obtained is larger than my F crit, I have to stop and I can't run this type of statistical analysis. Okay? So a bit more about the chart. Again, if you want to call it your F crit chart or your critical value of F max. Um, I think this one is, is Hartley's F max table that we're using here. Um, so for independent t-testing, we're just going to use this column right here, right, because we have two um, groups that we're dealing with, right? And this degrees of freedom right here, because we have to have equal sample sizes, is just kind of for like one group. So if you have two samples of 10, you would just use degrees of freedom for 9. And so um, everything in light face is alpha 0.05, and everything in bold face is alpha 0.01. So if I was to ask you, well, we have two groups of 10, and um, we're running an alpha level at 0 0.05, you would then say that, well, my critical value of F, or my F crit, is 4.03, right? If I had um, two groups with only, let's say, six people in each group, right, and I had an alpha level at 0.01, I would go six people in each group, so six minus one is five, so my F crit is 14.9. Okay. 
if you want to think of it like a ceiling, right, so 14.9, right, your F obtained can be anything down here. It just can't blow past this 14.9, right? Think of this as like a ceiling, right? So as long as your F obtained is 14 or 13 or something like 2, right, you can proceed. You haven't violated that assumption of um, homogeneity of variance. But if it's above that, if, you're, if your um, F obtained is like 23 or something like that, you have to stop. You can't proceed and you can't use that um, this, this table, this statistical analysis. A researcher has two independent samples, each having 10 participants with a sample variance of 12.34 and 9.15. What is the F max, or F crit, the critical value of F, and the F obtained, or finding the F statistical um, number, assuming an alpha level of 0.05? Okay, so let's start writing some stuff down here. So we have two groups, right, and um, each group has 10 people in it, right? Okay, so n equals 10. Degrees of freedom would then equal 9, right? And our alpha level is 0 0.05. Okay, do you know anything else? Okay, we know our um, sample variance for the larger one, right, is 12.34. And again, it's not the larger sample size because they have the exact same sample size, but the larger sample variance. And the larger or the smaller sample variance has only has 9.15. Okay, so we're going to try to see if we can proceed. Right. Okay. So let's find our F uh, max. Right. Or our F crit. Right. Um, I was taught F crit, so I'm going to say kind of like underneath parentheses because it's the critical value of F, right? What is that critical level that you really can't pass by? So if you use your F max table, you will see that with degrees of freedom 9, K, because we have two groups, right? K equals 2 for two groups. We have um, an F max of 4.03. Okay. So now let's do our F obtained. And again, our F obtained is um, this uh, larger one, larger variance. Right here, I'll, keep, I'll write it down here. F obtained is variance for the larger, the larger um, sample has larger variance, um, divided by the smaller sample variance from these two groups. Okay, where we have 12.34, um, yeah divided by uh, 9.15, okay? So our F obtained is 1.35. That's really small, that's good, okay? Now again, um, as long as the F obtained is smaller than our F max, we can proceed. And that's true, right? Because 1.35 is smaller than 4.03. So we get a happy face. We met that homogeneity of variance assumption. We can proceed.